Double Days and Scrappers getting ready to go here at Falcon Park at 6.30. Top two teams in the Pinkney Division squaring off. Now glad to be joined by Double Days ready pitcher Reed Schaller. Reed, how you doing, man? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good, man. Glad to have you along with us. Last good time you pitched, yeah, last time you pitched, uh, you were phenomenal. You you would retire the last 13 batters you faced. Uh, you gave up one base runner in five innings. Uh, what was working for you out there? Uh, I mean, just the game before that, I honestly sat, sat down with Carson Shaddy and, you know, just picked his mind from a hitter standpoint and just – because um, I used to pitch from the right, the uh, first base side of the mound. And so, like, I asked him, like, what he sees when the right hander's on that side. And he, he says he likes his chops as a hitter because, yeah. like, he sees the ball so much better. So I, I made an adjustment, moved to the third base side of the mound, and it just felt more comfortable. Like, I could hit my spots in and down in the zone. So I uh, felt more comfortable there. That was the first time you had ever done that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Were you switching around for lefties where you had the first base side, righties, third base side? No. or? No, uh, I just stayed on the third base side. Uh, so Carson Chatty's a guy who played in the SEC at Arkansas. You played at Vanderbilt. Uh, what's it been like to be teammates with him as opposed to opponents now? Well, I never got the chance to play against him because uh, my freshman year they traveled to Arkansas, and I wasn't able to travel since I was a redshirt. So um, it's nice playing with other SEC guys to like talk about their school and their college days. So it, it's it's he's a nice kid. It's yeah. great to play with him. Yeah, now for you personally, you've made a lot of transitions this year, all in the same season in 2018. You've gone from college to GCL to A-ball. Uh, what's that transition been like? What differences have you seen in hitters? Yeah, um, starting with college. Um, this is my first year pitching since basically my junior year of high school, so um, it was tough. It was very tough. And then um, I just got through that and then uh, went down to the GCL, and honestly it wasn't comparable to – college or a ball up here it's it was different yeah um uh the hitters weren't more as disciplined as they are here and in, in college so uh i i could just live off the fastball mostly and um when i got up here it was kind of a awakening like yeah. all right i gotta be a pitcher not a thrower so uh -huh. it's been different it's been good what do you think the biggest difference between sec hitters and a ball hitters are wood bats wood versus <laughs> is that it anything uh that's a yeah, approach. I mean, they're they're hunting fastballs. I mean, there are some schools that we played that hunted fastballs, yeah. but uh, just I think a little bit more disciplined here. Mm -hmm. um, so more maturity here than in college. Yeah. Double days ready pitcher Reed Schaller here. Now you mentioned you played your college baseball at Vanderbilt. You had to redshirt your freshman season because mm -hmm. you had Tommy John surgery. I did. Uh, what was the most difficult part of that entire process? <laughs> Sitting on the bench my freshman year watching yeah. Kyle okay. Wright, Jaron Kendall, Will Toffee play and. Just all draft picks, by the way. Yeah, Matt, I couldn't <laughs> yeah. play with those guys and experience right. that. But, uh -huh. yeah, I mean, it was a learning experience for me, uh, being able to sit down and watch Kyle's bullpen and listening to Coach uh, Brown and Kyle Wright talk about pitches and mechanics and just it was, it was a great learning experience yeah. to, to be able to do that, and I think that helped me um, this year. Uh -huh. So. Now, Kyle Wright, a high first-round pick. He's now in AAA with the Braves organization. Uh, what specifically did you learn from him? Just um, if you have a bad outing, I mean, you, you're going to have a, a bullpen in yeah. a couple days, and that's where you really want to work and focus in on that bullpen and um, just get everything down, your routine down, just reset. And that's what I learned from him. He's just – he's a great guy, and, like, he knows a lot. So. Uh -huh. Now – some, some, sometimes when guys come back from Tommy John surgery, they'll change up their mechanics, maybe change how they go about it at all. Is anything different for you before and after the surgery? Yeah, so uh, before surgery, I had a really long arm action. Okay. And um, when I got down to school, I was still in a brace. And so once I got out of the brace, and I was able to start doing, like, some towel stuff. And um, my coach actually wanted me to work with a Powerade bottle and do drills, like uh -huh. shorting, shortening my arm action. Okay. And so that's why it's so short now. It's just like right here. It's like a catcher almost. So people make fun of me for it, but I mean, it's whatever. So you were just like pump faking a Powerade bottle in the bullpen? Yeah. <laughs> why? Yeah. Just because it's heavier or why? It just uh, you'd fill up like water, not even halfway full, and you could feel the water transition from the bottom to the top. Okay. And so that, that the feeling, I don't, I don't know, it's just right. repetition of that. So. Yeah. Now, when you pitched for the first time in a Vanderbilt uniform uh, after a year on the shelf, uh, what were those emotions like for you your first time on the mound? It was exciting. Uh, a little nervous. Uh, exciting, though. I mean, it was a cold, 
cold night against Presbyterian yep. or something like that. So <laughs> it was it was it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. But uh, mm-hmm. as the season got going, I just kind of settled in and got better. Right. Now, you were basically a reliever exclusively. You made a couple of starts in the 19 appearances out of the pen in college. In the pros, you've made nine appearances, all of them starts. Uh, how much do you know about the plan for you as opposed to bullpen and rotation? Not sure. I mean, uh, in college, I was a reliever, like you said. And when I got drafted, I thought I was going to be a reliever. Yeah. And then I get down to the Florida League, and uh, Larry comes up to me. He's like, hey, how do you think about starting? I'm like, Sure. I haven't started in like two months, but yeah. fine. Yeah. And uh, just, it's it's been different. You know, I, I used to be a starter in high school when I was uh, uh, healthy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> now coming into college, reliever, throw an inning as hard as you can, basically. Right. And now I got to go distance. So it's hasn't been easy. Yeah. Hasn't been easy at all, but it's getting there. Now, I know uh, some of the guys actually, I heard someone call you flamethrower in the clubhouse history. You throw pretty hard. I've, I've heard that you've cracked triple digits. Um, I heard you just say you, you had to kind of pace yourself maybe as a starter. Uh, how, how tough has that learning curve been changing from bullpen to rotation? It's very tough. Um, bullpen, I mean, it was fun. Yeah. You know, you just go out there and, like I said, you throw as hard as you can for an inning. Yeah. Try and shove it up their ass. But <laughs> um, Yeah, I mean, as a starter now, I got to, distance myself i can't blow my load in the first inning you know uh-huh. so <laughs> as my fishing coaches yeah save in college you don't want to blow your load but uh, yeah right <laughs> um yeah it's it's different you know i gotta i gotta know how to pitch against hitters yeah, right. in this league and how to adjust in like uh once you count with these guys right. versus the GCL or the college guys, yeah. but um, it's coming along. Yeah. Double day's pitcher Reed Chatler here now. Before we let you go, let's get to some personality questions. We like to let the guys showcase a little bit of themselves before they get out of here. Now, one thing I've noticed about you is every bus ride, before anyone else is even on the bus, you've got headphones in and you're watching The Office. Uh, favorite Office episode ever? I know it's a tough question, but give me one. Favorite Office episode might be the parkour episode. Okay. It's tough to beat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I... The reason I watched The Office so much is when I had surgery, I binge watched The Office the entire <laughs> summer, finished it in one summer, uh-huh. and then I've, this is my third time watching it all the way through. And it's just every every episode's unique and yeah. funny, so mm-hmm. I like the humor. Yeah. But favorite character? <sighs> That's tough. Yeah. That's tough. That's very tough. There are a lot to choose from. And me personally, yeah. as, as an office diehard, I like to go kind of off the map, Kevin or Creed. Yeah, I like, yeah, I was going to say either yeah. Kevin or Creed. Right. Like the episodes I'm in right now, Creed is just now manager. Yeah. <laughs> and Spoiler alert. it is hilarious. Yeah. The, just his personality is, everyone's personality is unique. So, like, yeah. it's hard to pick out one person you like. Yeah, right. So, that's, that's fair. It's such a great show that you yeah. can't pick one. Yeah. Now, you're also former college teammates with Chandler Day. Yeah who is, <laughs> sadly, he says, uh, a guy's a clown, right? He's the clubhouse clown. He's always keeping it light. Uh, what's your best Chandler Day story, as Adalberto Carrillo gives us an audience? Uh, best Chandler story. Let me think here, all right? Um, it's kind of like The Office, right? There's just so many to choose. I'd say showing up my freshman year, um, and we uh, we were in the visiting football locker room, and you know it was weird for us high schoolers coming in and having having to shower, yeah. you know. And we get in there, and Chandler's the first one naked. And I don't know if you know Chandler; he's huevos, <laughs> but uh, he just started dancing naked in front of all the freshmen and <laughs> after that we weren't shy anymore we, we, we just went al- went along with it so I think he, he's a great teammate yeah. I mean he, he he's been through a lot he's a great teammate he knows how to make people laugh he's just a great guy uh-huh. so what was going through your mind when he just started doing that when you were a freshman well coming in I knew Chandler okay. 
previously. Yeah. But uh, I was like, dear God, <laughs> you're a sophomore. You're, you're, quit acting like a senior. Right. That's what I was going with my head. He's, yeah. <laughs> And so now you guys both get drafted to the Nationals and the top 10 rounds, both of you. did Was that one of the first texts you sent? Like, hey, man, we're playing on the same team now? Actually, I was playing Fortnite, and he <laughs> sent me a text uh-huh. saying, hey, we're going to be teammates again. <laughs> and you're like, oh, my God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please get away from me. <laughs> no, but I was really excited because, I mean, go- coming into this – this new experience with someone that I knew it was it was great. Yeah. It was great to um, go down to Florida and see him and then meet people along with him. It was mm-hmm. it was nice being with him. Right. And then, all right, last one for you here, Reed. Can you show us your, your tattoo on yeah. the right arm? Yep. So what's the what's the story behind this? Behind that, so uh, the tattoo is the date I got Tommy John. Okay. So um just reminds me like what I've been through mm-hmm. and the journey right. that that's come with it. So, yeah. All right, well, best outing as a pro, I think it's fair to say, last time out. Kind of feel like you're figuring things out here? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, Double Day's ready pitcher, Reed Schaller, fantastic last time out. Can't wait to see you pitch again. Thanks, man. Thank you.